Good morning everyone, so here we are, Richley and I, we are in Geneva and it is autumn! Oh my goodness, I'm last. so happy that all this disgusting heat just left. I know, do you know what, we've been really like roasting ourselves this summer and we're really glad that soon it's going to be nice autumn. Yeah, and obviously, you know, by the end of the month, we are going to be going to a very nice country. Well, Richard is going to two countries. I'm going to two countries as well, but we're not going to the same country as well. Just the last one. So I will tell you more about it later, but Richard and I are going to be traveling very soon. But guess what? This time it's not going to be just him and me. It's going to be my mom, uh, Richard's mom, my sister, and the two of us. So we're extremely excited and we're going far away, believe me. My favorite season and not just because it's cooler but also because you can get some special deals in the shops and today as you can see we did some shoe shopping and we got some really good bargains right in the center of Geneva a day trip in Geneva would not be completed without visiting one of its most important sites I'm talking about Jet Door, which after so many years became almost the symbol of the town do you know what? It would be almost impossible to describe how happy I'm feeling inside to be back in this lovely French speaking city since Richard and I are full time learning French. And uh, it feels very nice. The last time I was here was in May and uh, it was about to be, it was actually the end of spring and right now we are back in Geneva and it is autumn so I'm very glad that I didn't see the city during the summer because I really hate that season with all of my heart and uh, it is nice to be surrounded by all these beautiful colours and uh, yeah, I feel that we are definitely enjoying the weather, the place, the language, everything, I just love Geneva So we've just come across a tree with a fruit that we've never seen before here in Geneva if you do know what this fruit is, let us know. So we've just come to the Jardin Anglais which is the English park. So if you're not English, you shouldn't be here because this is my park, guys. I reckon when Tchaikovsky wrote Swan Lake, he was inspired by Lake Geneva here. There are so many swans and to see the ground beneath is just magical. Even though most probably Lake Geneva didn't inspire the Russian composer, Richley and I had the opportunity to live for many months in the place of birth of Pyotr Tchaikovsky. He was born in Udmurtia in one of the republics of Russia during the Russian Empire. So guys, I would like to give you a piece of advice. When you come to Geneva, in order for you to have a better experience, I would advise you to sail Lake Le Mans, or as many English people know it, Lake Geneva. Just get on one of the normal yellow boats here in Geneva. The last time that I got on one of those, it only came to two francs, which is extremely cheap. So basically that's like some sort of transport that they have here. So you can go from Geneva to different towns uh, along the lake. So this is what we're going to be doing here. And then later, I'm going to tell you what the current price is. So I just bought the ticket. A one-way trip to the other side of the lake is three francs. Do you 
know that the rare people who come to Geneva, they don't even know about the existence of this public transport, which are these yellow boats, and they end up paying a lot of money to be on an excursion with so many people and they only get to have like around 30 minutes. Guess what? If you bought a normal ticket, it would be valid for one hour and 30 minutes. And that means that as soon as you get to one part of the lake, you can hop on another boat and get to a different location along the lake. And this is what we're going to do. That's why it's necessary to do research when you go to a new city around the world, because it is very important to find new ways how to save as much money as possible. Like for example, when people go to Istanbul, like Rich's brother, they pay up to 40, 50 euros to go on a very short tour. Whenever we are there, we only get on one of the normal ferries in the city and we pay no more than one euro. There you have. If you're like us and you constantly need to go for a wee, if you walk by the lake here, you can find public toilets totally free of charge. If you want to know how to find the public toilets here in Geneva by the lake, you just have to walk to Jet Door, which is literally over here, and they are facing this very important landmark. In my opinion, that is very convenient, uh, just in case that you literally need to go for a wee, like myself, and you don't know where to go, now you know. In any case, we have come to the end of this vlog. If you liked the video, do not hesitate to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. See you next time in a new video.